All right, so this is the Bubble Purge Pro DC system. So it is composed of our cylinder attachment here, which has a outlet that you can use for uh, fluid flush, which connects into our return line. This is a return line off of my existing uh, Pro kit. These are all new components. That's got some old fluid in it, which we're going to flush out. Uh, it's got our uh, brass cap and seal assembly. Quick connect, as you can see, it's pretty awesome. Doesn't leak. Fill tube, helm fitting, which threads into the top of the helm. Helm T. And here are your dual cylinder bleed hoses. Now uh, the bleed the bleed fittings here and here are already open, so this thing's ready to connect up and go. All right. So first thing we're going to do is connect up our main cylinder attachment. And I usually just do that on the starboard cylinder. So you guys are familiar probably with the basic setup of this with the original Pro Kit. Quick connect. Quick connect. Now we got these connects here for the dual cylinder bleed fitting. No, the dual cylinder bleed hoses, which I'm going to connect up next. So what we're doing here is we're going to match up fitting for fitting. So we're now connecting up to the port side bleed fitting on the port cylinder. That is going to couple into the corresponding fitting on our main cylinder attachment. So port, port, port. We're going to do the same thing to starboard. Starboard side of the port cylinder. Goes on the quick connect that is also connected to the starboard side of the starboard cylinder. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and spin our fill cap out. Try not to scrape things up too much. Shouldn't take much effort. Okay, that is out. Next, connecting up fill tube to fill our bottle. I don't have our threaded fitting in yet because I'm going to just squeeze some fluid in and prime up the helm a little bit. So basically, trying to speed along the priming process to the extent possible. Now I'm going to connect up, thread in our helm fitting, which we all know and love, connect up our fill bottle forgetting something. So, helm fitting, helm T, then fill bottle. And then we're going to connect our return line onto this other part of the T. Right now I want to see what's coming out of the system back there on the cylinders. So, just squeezing some fluid in. Giving the bottle a good old squeeze. Start turning the wheel a little bit, see if we get to take some more fluid. Don't want to lose that. The big thing we want to avoid doing here is pulling air bubbles back into the helm. We want to have a nice solid stream of fluid going into it. 
Okay, now we got a nice good prime on our fill bottle here. The helm is taking fluid as I'm turning the wheel. Let's see what's happening back here. Turn hose to our cylinder attachment. You can see right here. Gonna walk our return hose up to our helm T. Okay. Now we're all connected up. So now we are taking fluid out of the bottle, pushing it into the cylinders, out through both cylinders, through our T assembly there, back through our return and Probably gonna flush a little bit of stuff out, but not too much. Okay, so right now the, the return line is disconnected, and what I'm doing is just pushing fluid, pushing air out of here. So I don't need to force all this air back into the steering system or back into the bottle. I'm just basically letting the steering system, letting the helm. The helm's literally pulling fluid out of the bottle at this point because it's got a good prime should start seeing some fluid coming up out of here pretty soon so at this point you can see the port side of both cylinders is starting to prime up so the port side would be turning to starboard so I've been turning to starboard a little bit it's starting to get primed up and what you can see is port fitting port fitting right here looks like it's getting a good prime on here. Now I'm gonna start turning the wheel to port and it should prime the starboard side of these cylinders. If I want the starboard side to pressurize, I will need to turn to port. Um, all right, let's do that. See, we got a decent prime back here. Getting ready to swing the motors over in a minute. First, you can see we got some air bubbles in our return hose. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get those out. So, turn our wheel. As you can see, it's a fill tube attachment is long enough so that you don't have to sit here and babysit it. So, we're doing twin dual cylinders. One man job as usual or woman or whoever wants to do it so I'm burping some air and bad fluid out of here and then i'm going to connect over our return line directly to our t fitting our helm t all right i'm stopping turning here so this looks like pretty good prime a little bit of air coming out back here now i'm going to go ahead and connect up because we're mostly primed So I'm going to go ahead and connect our return hose directly into our helm tee. Should be able to just cycle everything now and be able to get the remainder of the air out of the system without flighting too much. So you can see it's pulling. Helm's now pulling from here and from here. Air coming out of the return assembly should vent up into the bottle. If you see any big, huge air bubbles coming up through the return line, you can always disconnect it and kind of burp that stuff out. It makes it a little faster.
see bubbles go in and they should come right out of the top just and fluid will drop into the helm as these big bubbles work on up hopefully keeping our bottle from imploding completely As you can see, we're also not leaking down here. This whole thing it should stay nice and tight. Nice and not leaky. Okay. Just letting these big bubbles get a chance to work their way up. If a bubble tries to sneak into the helm, all you really got to do is just kind of cut the wheel back in the opposite direction for a second or two and it should come right out. We have uh, used about a quart and a half of fluid between a little tiny flush we did and getting this thing primed up and bled. And this, now we're just going to close off, close off our bleed fittings and we are done. Well, we're going to disconnect the system and test, but that is the basics of Bubble Purge Pro DC. And a dual cylinder bleed. Our bleed fittings are tightened down, so we're ready to disconnect here and start testing out our system.